Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, and to the continuing adventures of uh, restoring the 72 Nova, but right now I am uh, waiting on a fuel sending unit for the 78 Nova, I'm trying to get my gas gauge working. I uh, took it apart, everything seems to be okay, it wasn't all full of crud or rusty or nothing. Uh, so I'm hoping that's that's the problem with it. So that should be in in a day or so. Uh, I wanted to bring the 68 Nova over here to pull the engine transmission, but I'm stripping some parts from it while it's just sitting right there while I'm waiting on that fuel sending unit. Uh, also went around my junk cars look for stereos here's three here in the shit pile that uh, uh one didn't work one didn't display and the other didn't eject the cd i found this one here it's an aftermarket one out of a 2006 durango pioneer and it's all touch screen works pretty good but i don't know i don't have a housing type thing to put that in uh, unless I build one. So I'm trying to get a stereo for for this 78 Nova. And I got this one here right now. This one here works pretty good. It's a JVC unit. And I got a little housing. I forget what the car that was from, but I might mount it up something like this. I don't know. I like to build some type of console up there to put in a stereo and some gauges. Or I could butcher this thing up, but it's got a little cubby hole thing there. So anyway, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to wrap up the f last few little things on this on this car. Okay, so Also, from my junk cars, I got a pair of seats from a 2004 Subaru Outback. And I just set them in there. That's kind of what they looked like. Just sitting in there. They're not mounted or anything. Uh, this driver's side is power, so I'm going to have to hook, hook a power wire up to that. That's manual. But they're real nice. Uh, upholstery and everything and I'm not I wouldn't recover them so I just set them in there to see how they're how they're gonna mount uh, this one here I think will mount up the way it is onto onto this hump and these the other ones I'm gonna have to build some little brackets or alter them somehow but I think they'll be okay they're a little bit tall, so if somebody was about 6'5", their head might hit the ceiling, which brings brings me back uh, brings me to the next project we're doing as the uh, sun uh, headliner. Now this one doesn't have any of the rods that the headliner attaches to. Uh, here's one little deal it it clips into here. There's supposed to be another one there. There's the main one here. Goes across. Uh, one there. And one at the back. So what is there? One, two, three, four, five. There's five rods. That go across there. Because the headliner. We'll go over to the 68. Now, so far I've stripped uh, a bunch of stuff from this car. I took out the back seat, the bottom of the back seat, because I needed that. It's just a, a real mess back there. Uh, I took out all the seat belts, because half the seat belts were messed up in the 72. A couple of these ones were kind of screwed up too. One was frayed off or bitten off by a rat. But anyway, this is the headliner here. I started taking it off. Um, 
I'll just go over what you this uh, moldings here you have to, to go all the way around you have to take them off the uh, wind lace moldings I guess they're called I I forgot one screw on this panel here I got it off on the other side take all them off the uh, sail panels are gonna be different because four door these have been recovered too I don't know if I can alter them or buy some or make some okay and so you got to take them off and then the uh, there's a little lip little ledge here with some little hooks type things that that grip the headliner actually this one was cut a little bit too short but what the headliner does you can see it here too what the headliner does is it wraps up under there and it grips that and then usually you put in some uh, contact cement around the edges that's how you pull it and stretch it but we're we're reverse doing this in reverse so uh yeah i just gotta get that one screw take off then the uh light uh how many rods did i say was in the 70 Two. We're going to see if they line up on the same ones. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, six of them. And this roof's probably longer, but it's probably the same distance across. So we're going to try to make this work. And I believe this is leather. Leather or something, and it wasn't done too long ago where it's, it's in really good shape. Uh, it had the same with the 72 it has the overhead shoulder belt it bolts there has two little chrome deals here that it slides down to um, I'm hoping these holes here line up on the 72 if they don't I'm gonna be having holes in there but it's better than having no headliner at all like uh, last few cars there that 78 Nova doesn't have a headliner in it um, and my 74 GTO doesn't either. I'm not spending 500 bucks on one. So, we're going to take all this apart. And there's a bunch of crap in here. This actually has some insulation on the roof too. And then it's got a bunch of, I don't know what this is from. Rat's nest. But they haven't eaten through the headliner. So we're going to clean it all up. Of course, you got to take the sun visors off too. I think they'll line up and then of course I'll have to measure from here to here to here to make sure they're all all the rods are in the same spot if not I might not be able to swap it okay so that's what I've been taking off this thing so far this thing's just a parts car it's just a rusty rusty mess Okay, so I'm going to do all that. There's Kitty in here inspecting it. Uh, do all this while I'm waiting for that fuel sending unit. And then, because uh, I didn't want to push this out of the way, and then push this one up there, and then push it back, and push that one back. And, and then another problem is I got this engine sitting here. A guy called... Well, messaged me about 10 times and finally said he was on his way. This is the LT1 engine that was in the uh, Just sitting in the 72 Nova wasn't hooked up or nothing So I don't know if it runs or not the guy I got it from said it did but I'm not uh Gonna go through the trouble of hooking all that up to see if it runs uh, So he wanted just the engine so I I took the transmission off he said he was on his way and he never showed up a couple hours later he he goes uh oh something came up i can't make it and that was like three or four days ago so just another flake okay so so anyway i'll have to uh lower that engine and set it somewhere and then we'll bring this 68 right up in here and take off the front end, 
take out the engine transmission, core support, uh, you know, all that stuff. Okay, but we'll go into that go into that more when I get it up here. I just got to get this little stuff out of the way. So we're going to do the headliner and uh, I'll keep busy doing some other stuff if the sending unit doesn't show up here real good, real fast. Okay, so uh, I'll be back in a little while. Okay, guys. I'm going to make it work. Uh, I'm across here the uh, fold order is 47 inches. This is 40. No, the fold order is 46. This is 48. So the four door roof is uh, two inches shorter. But I can still make these these edges fit here. But the rods didn't fit. I got rods right where these seams are 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 uh, steel rods that go across. And if you can see right there the holes it, it fit in one side but it's two inches shorter for here so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna drill a hole up here farther and stick this end in there okay um, same with this rod here see it's supposed to be in here but I'm gonna put it up right up in there somewhere then this will still if you stretch it will fit around there and you can put the the molding on okay so that side there's lined up uh and then you go to the back here's one rod here the back they go longer so so, so then you have to <laughs> It's kind of hard to explain. You have to line it up to where those clips were. And of course, uh, this one and this one fit. And it goes right up this rear view mirror, so that fit. And it fits right there. So, those two fit, but this middle one didn't. This middle one's way off. It's about three inches off. And so are these last two. These three here don't fit. So with the brace that goes down here, I zip tied the rod to it right in the middle here. Yeah, one, two, and three. I zip tied them in there. So then the rods, see here, it doesn't line up to nothing. It's supposed to line up way back here, so it's a lot forward. So I'm going to try to drill some holes. Well, it's zip tied up so much, I might just cut the ends off because it's not in in either end. And then once, see, it lines up. I can tuck it under there, but right in here it gets real short. This side, this side here is lined up. Let's see, this is for the four door marking there. These here will line up. Now I stuck this molding on here. And of course, these uh, sail panels don't fit. So I'm going to check on them. If they're too much, I'm going to make them out of cardboard. So that's why I didn't finish this. You need that sail panel to go over top. I'm going to stretch that back down like that. And I got some new, I got 16 foot of this new. Uh, I am buy more if I need it. So I'm going to try to stretch this down. But it's going to be a little tough on this end here. So I'm going to make it work. This light actually is supposed to be over here. A couple inches over here. But we're going to mount it here to cover up the hole. But of course the 68 was an oval shape one and where's this one this one's a round one so we're gonna put it up like that somehow okay so i'm gonna make it work it's a little i think this will be okay here the sun visors that's where the holes are but it needs to twist a little bit that way we can punch in new holes
Uh, these don't line up. I can either drill in there and drill two new holes right there or use them to and have two holes there. So either way on them, see that one there, those two are down here. And then these seat belt don't line up either. So anyway, uh, that's what I got done so far. So I'll be back when it's all done and I'll show you. Okay guys, I pretty much got it in there. Um, put the sun visors on, put a piece of trim here, put the uh, rear view mirror on. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's not, it's not the best, but, uh, I'm going to leave these moldings off here until I do the dash and everything. And leave this off till I get another light. Okay, just had to, uh, I moved it all over, moved it all over this way, undone the zip ties, moved it over a couple inches and zip tied it up because this side here was, was longer than the other side. But it's just kind of, it, it still is a little bit. So, here's the uh, sail panels for the uh, four-door. Of course, they don't fit. They don't fit this one. Yeah, let's see if they... Yeah, see. So, what I think I'm going to do... You can buy these. I found a set for $55. I don't know if they're covered or just the cardboard, but they were 55 bucks for the set. And this one was all coming apart anyway. Um, yeah, see. It just, just doesn't quite fit. So I think I'm just going to make some out of cardboard and uh, put them on there. They were put on there with a little Velcro, which is kind of weird. I didn't know they had Velcro in 72. It has a little deal there. Velcro's on. This one, this one here, they put in some type of, the upholstery shop put in some type of clips. So I'm going to, uh, and I got new moldings around here. See, it just, it didn't fit right here. I just had to stretch it. So I don't know about, these are the two bolts for the uh, seat belt. I put them in there. There's the two old ones, gonna have the holes in there. But I don't know if I wanna put it across and strap it down to the factory deals or not, or just leave it off. Um, so yeah, I got the new moldings here. Just kind of left this a little loose. That, the sail panels go on. That goes over top. Same with the back here. Um, there are two, when I was looking for them sail panels on eBay, there's two little end caps that go right here. They're like, they're mostly 50 something, but I found one for $36 for the pair. And it goes in there and it's supposed to hold this molding was molding down in there but uh i don't know so i'm gonna build uh i don't have the speakers right now but i'll probably cut out the sail panels out of cardboard and make this package tray here uh i got enough glue to do the sail panels but probably not this but i'll probably cut it out in cardboard anyway anyway i'm gonna do that and uh look at it from back here I mean it's not bad you know uh, I think the headliner kit was 119 but then that didn't include the rods so you know in the package tray I think was a hundred and something too but I've already made them out of cardboard and and I, I got some vinyl to uh, recover them that didn't cost very much Actually, I got a whole whole bunch of vinyl I got for free because they shorted me on the last thing there, and I complained, and uh, they sent me a whole 
enough to do this package tray and sale panels for free. Okay, so overall we're saving we're saving a couple hundred bucks, you know, as we go. But it would, you know, of course it would look better with a brand new headliner and brand new stuff. But I, you know, I'm just torn about this car. I don't know whether I should just buy all new stuff for it or just uh, fix it like I fix the other ones, just kind of as cheap as I can and save money where I can. Uh, but I can always redo stuff, you know, can always redo this headliner. It's really not that hard. It's a little time consuming, but it's It's not bad once you once you've done it uh, So yeah, and then same with these floors the uh, comments A lot of comments don't show up on the video. So I'll show up my notifications and, and one guy uh, said that you know, if it was him, he'd, he'd do these floors and, and put in the whole full on both sides, spend the other 116 for this side and do it. You know, we did this last video. But, you know, I was torn about that too. You know, it's not just, you know, 116 bucks ain't much, but it's just all the extra labor of cutting all this out. And, and I wouldn't replace this anyway because you got the braces in here and they're just a mother to uh, cut out. And, uh, weld and grind and just a lot of work and it really doesn't need it just cut out the pieces that you need and put it in there so yeah I could have spent another 116 on this I could have spent 120 on the headliner 120 on the package tray $55 on the uh, on the uh, sale panels and on and on and on but that little hundred and something here and there, that adds up at the end of the bill to thousands of dollars. So it's, you know, I, I still got the dash. I got an old Nova, this one didn't come with the dash. I got the old Nova dash, an old Nova dash. It's all torn up that I can replace like I did the 78 there. Uh, well, uh, fix up and recover. But uh, I thought these were about 155 bucks. And I haven't looked, but I just seen a couple of them there, and they're, they're upwards over two hundred bucks. So uh, you know, could save a couple of hundred dollars here and there, and and put in a brand new dash. And uh, you know, it's just going to require a lot of stuff. Going to require all new door panels and carpet, and you know, door uh, not just the door panels. You got the door handle, the armrests, and then the armrest covers. You know, and this this didn't come with any of that. And the 68's all shot. So I don't know what I can save there. So there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of money I'm going to be putting into this car, even though it looks like I'm doing stuff some stuff cheap. Anyway, uh, I'll be back. When I get these sail panels on there, they'll look a whole lot better with that on. So I'll be back. Okay, just a quick to show you the cut out the uh, cardboard and put some contacts in that. I'll be back. Okay. Here they are all uh, contact cemented on. Some tape. Fixing to put them on there. See what they look like. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I got the sail panels in. I got to do something about these little corners here. There and there, but... Anyway... And I don't have enough contact cement to do the back package tray. That's where those little deals go here. I don't know if I'll get them or not. Or just leave it like that. Okay, so that's it. It's not the best job in the world, but, you know, like I said, it's better than nothing. Everything was basically free. So... Anyway, I think that'll be that'll be it for headliner package trays and for or the uh, sail panels. Just got the package tray to go. Okay, so I think I'll end this video now. It's uh, getting late, and uh, sorry I didn't get much more done. But next video for sure we're gonna get that. Uh, 68 stripped of the motor transmission and front end and everything It'll look like we'll get a lot more done then so anyway uh, Thanks everybody for watching like comment subscribe share all that stuff and uh, 
that'll be it for the car video i'm going to put a a video bonus video whatever you want to call it after this of uh going to the lake with the dog so <laughs> you don't have to stay tuned for it if you want to you can watch it if not we will see you next video thinking about going to the lake you want to go to the lake go for a swim huh you want to go to the lake okay you gotta hop in the jeep oh let's go to the lake Pretty close to the lake, aren't we, Pup? We almost there? We're here, pup. Here at the lake. Okay, let's go. There's a lake. This is Lake Texoma. It's about three, four minutes from my house. Trying to stick. Okay, pup. Where's that stick? Here's that stick. Got a stick. What? There's a stick. Got a stick. Got a stick. Swim out, get that stick. <laughs> Can't even see it now. I don't know, I didn't throw it now. Oh, there it is. It's right. It's over there, Pop. Behind you. That stick. You got it. 
Good pup. Puppy's got that stick. Oh. <coughs> Puppy loves the water. Puppy got that stick. Puppy got that stick. Puppy got that stick. Puppy got that stick. Okay, pup. Pup, ready to go? We gotta go. Puppy. Come on, pup. Oh, we gotta go. a little four wheeling while we're here. I think there's a big tree in the way up here.
Okay, pup, did you have fun at the lake? <laughs> Okay guys, that was me and Puppy's trip to the lake. It's only like two miles from my house. There's a shorter place to get to the lake, but there's a par it's a park and they, uh, you gotta have a leash on the pets and everything. Where we went to, there's not, uh, there's no park police or nothing there. Okay, so uh, just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh, I got a couple of videos on these two Jeeps. This is my V8 Jeep here. I just took it to Colorado this summer up uh, 13,000 something feet up up there in the mountains in the snow. If uh, y'all wanna watch it, just click on my name, Clunkers and Classics, and click my video, scroll down, and you'll see it. And then I just got a video going over these two Jeeps, the history of them and what I paid for them and what I'd done to them. But anyway, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see y'all next video. Thanks for watching.